everyone, my name is Jessica and I am an opera singer. You saw the title, I'm so excited to be reacting to Chloe and Hallie's performance of Cool People. Let's just get right into it. Oh, roll. Rolling. Three, two, one, action. Okay, I have to pause. Okay, wow. I have a lot of things to say about Hallie's voice, but first I want to talk about the videography. I loved how the video started out in black and white with a close-up shot of them sitting down back to back. And then the frame changed quickly and it revealed a full color with a super close-up shot revealing half of their faces. And then I also loved how the frame got wider and wider because the camera was backing up at such a slow pace which revealed more of their faces as time went by. I feel this really complements uh, the stripped down bare accompaniment type of performance that we're hearing and the simplicity of this videography just allows Chloe's voice to take center stage, which it does. Okay, now Chloe's voice deserves an incredible amount of recognition. So here we go. First, I want to talk about how she uses her bright tone in order to enunciate her, all of her vowels and all of her consonants. For me as an opera singer, enunciation is really important. I mean, there are some composers where you're like, I am not singing that vowel on that note Mozart but that's another story but I really loved how she's just using her bright tone just to get out all of those words there was not one word I did not understand and that was really really nice the second thing I want to talk about is how smoothly one word went into the next word and she's able to accomplish this by moving her lips and her mouth slightly on the consonant and then bouncing off and getting right into the vowel in operatic terms Terms, we call this legato singing where it's just a continuous smooth sound without any interruptions to break the line I don't do you is this used in pop culture legato line I don't I don't know but it's the only word that I can think of to describe what she's doing and thirdly I want to talk about how she's enunciating her diphthongs a lot of enunciating things that I'm talking about with her but I really like what she's doing with her diphthongs um like out and down what she's doing is she's creating space and resonance for the very first vowel and then slightly maneuvering her mouth at the end of the note in order to form the second vowel at the last minute. To me, this is great technique. The last thing I want to address is how much mental awareness we need as singers in order to understand how much breath we will need in order to carry out a phrase. And this can be accomplished really by knowing where your line is going. So if you know that your line has a long journey, you may need to take a minute to understand how you're going to manage, keyword manage, the air that you have taken in, in order to use it to your advantage to get through the phrase. Let's go back to one point where uh, Hallie had a significantly longer phrase than the phrases she was singing prior. <laughs>
Okay, so that last phrase that she just said was a 10 count phrase, which is almost three times longer than the four count phrases that she was singing before. And this 10 count phrase may be easy for a lot of singers, but that's not my point. The point I am trying to make is to get you to understand the idea that something mentally and physically had to happen in order for her to understand that the air that she took in now has to last her almost three times as long as it did before. And a good artist will not let you know that this process is happening. I freaking love her voice. Chloe is a different breed, y'all. She is a different breed. And you can definitely hear the influence of Beyonce in her voice. You guys, Chloe does something so interesting with her phrasing, and that is accenting specific vowels on specific words, on specific beats, with a weightier and heavier chest or mixed voice, and then dramatically backing off of that and into a lighter, airier head voice. And for me, my ears latch onto her sound because of the contrast of maneuvering in and out of those registers. And an added bonus is she does it so efficiently to where it looks easy. And that ain't easy. I actually want to go back to the very beginning of when she started singing just to point out uh, the dramatization of bobbing and weaving in and out of those registers and how aesthetically pleasing it is to the ear, at least my ear. Okay, I don't know the words that she's saying. I don't have them memorized. She does something along the lines of a very strong onset with a heavier, weightier sound. Hear me for a day. I'm done with yesterday. Just bobbing and weaving in and out of that more resonant, uh, in your face sound. And then dramatically backing off of that to me is, is, such a good way to utilize the technique that you have. Um, mind blown. I don't even know how young these girls are, but to be able to comprehend that, what is in the milk these days? Moms, what are you producing? I love when two resonant voices that are starkly different in color come together to create one harmonious, beautiful sound. Mm literal perfection. Did this song give anyone Janelle Monet Arc Android album vibes like super intricate harmonies and almost otherworldly sounds? Just me? Okay. I can't get enough of these two beautiful ladies and I cannot wait to react to more of their videos because their sound honestly is unmatched. It's it's really, really, really solid. If you like this video and you found it informative, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on those bell notifications just so that you are aware of when I upload a new video. Also, make sure to comment down below what you liked about this video. Maybe mention something that I uh, 
I didn't say, or maybe you disagreed about something, let me know. I love to interact with all of you. And also let me know what you'd like to hear from me next. I've got some really great videos coming up, so stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Bye. Yeah. Was a kid.